Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you guys my college apartment room tour. That's so exciting because as you can tell I actually went all out and decorated my room this year. This video is only showing you my room because last year I did an apartment tour. Not only my room but also my whole apartment. So if you guys want to watch that and see like my apartment layout to see how an apartment is at Texas A&M, I will link that video down below. But today I'm only showing you guys my room just because my apartment is still the same. <laughs> so there's no point of me showing you guys that again. Again, but I am in the same apartment unit. I just changed room because my roommate moved out of this room and I just Scurried along in and was like hey, I want this room and I took it and that's what I did <laughs> So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to let you know this apartment did come furnished I didn't have to buy a lot of the furnitures, which is great and let's get on with the video and So this is the outside of my door If you guys didn't know this is an Asian household, so we took off our shoes and to the right, actually, I kind of claimed as my shoe closet. And so these are where the rest of my shoes are. And I just keep like extra bags in here. So I just have like our vacuum. The rest of my shoes, like reusable bags and things like that. Just my two most worn shoes. So it's just like super easy access going in and out of my room. So this is my room. My actual room area is very simplistic, I feel like, and I will link down my room tour from last year because most of these decor is pretty much the same. It's the same bedding, the same everything, it's just different layout. If you guys couldn't tell, this is my bedroom area, and then I have a little nook over there that's a little bit more decorated. I sometimes sit here, not too, too often, um, just because I really like sunlight in the window, and I don't really get much like sunlight here. Moving but on to here, this is my actual bed. Nothing too new, it's basically the same setup as my old room. But I also like that my bed, has a little like headstand and so I just leave all my masks on here so it's like used and not used face masks. Over just... here is my restroom and the annoying thing about this restroom is that the light switch is outside. So this bathroom is a little bit smaller than my last bathroom but still the same layout except this rack wasn't here before. I had like a little cubicle and I have this cubicle here. I have a lot of storage now in this bathroom. A lot, a lot, a lot of storage. So, I'm not going to show you guys, like, what's in it. But I'm going to show you guys how deep the storage goes. Like, imagine, like, one, two, three, four of these. Like, they're so, so deep. This part of my wall is super blank. I don't think I'm going to end up doing anything with it. It's made to put up a TV. But I don't plan on putting up a TV just because I don't watch TV too often. Over here. Here, we make it to my closet, and you guys remember my old closet, I had a very big walk-in closet, but this time, it's a lot smaller, it's still a very big closet, don't get me wrong. So how my apartment did it is that if your room is bigger, you get a smaller closet, and if your room is smaller, you get a bigger closet. So last year, my room was on the smaller side, well, really, really small side, so I had like a really big closet, which was nice, but it was also very extra, I didn't use half of my closet space. This year, I still have a pretty decent sized closet, I feel like. It's big enough for me. I have my cart from like freshman year for my, all my necessities like vitamins and whatnot, my laundry hamper, and extra storage for myself. Moving right along, I have my mini fridge that I've had since freshman year. One thing that I really recommend is if you're starting college, I really recommend buying a mini fridge. Yes, you can rent one from the school, well, at least at A&M you can rent one, but I pay like what? hundred dollars for this freshman year and it's sticking with me for my four years so it's not only gonna like be useful for your first year of school because it's gonna be helpful just because sharing a fridge with like four different people like four people is a lot of foods for the fridge to hold and sometimes there's not enough space so having your own mini fridge in your room is very handy if anything you can put your like drinks in there you put like some snacks like it's just literally at my bedside i can just be like oh like i want a snack open the fridge and grab whatever i want in there like you can keep your ice cream your snacks your dessert super easy that it doesn't need to be taking up space in your fridge in the kitchen so up here i just keep some paper towels and a home sweet home sign i didn't know where to hang it up so i thought why not just leave it there, add a little bit of decor. This is the section that you guys are all waiting for. Hold on, you guys need to see the lights. You are not getting the full effect. 
There we go. Okay, so the lights are on. So this is my little nook area. I am so grateful that my room came with like this little nook. I really decorated it and transformed it so that I can feel homey and cozy in this little nook area. I guess my bedroom's cute and all, but at the end of the day, it's just like a bedroom. If it wasn't for COVID, I probably would have never touched that nook and everything would have stayed like all white. Before COVID, I was never home. Like having a room, it doesn't really matter where you live or like what room you're staying in. It's just a room for you to sleep in. Like you're barely gonna be home. Now I'm home like 24 seven and that's because we can't go anywhere, we can't, I can't study anywhere, and that's why I wanted to decorate this little nook, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I also made a whole transformation video if you guys want to know like where I got everything, like what I did, how I did it, and whatnot. So I will link that down below if you guys want to see. The inspiration behind everything is my Alienware setup. I have a dual monitor, so I have like this screen and this screen, and it's been so helpful having everything on a big screen. As you can tell with the setup is that it's very colorful. So I really wanted to go off of all the colors. So I had fairy lights, so I put them all over the border. Just don't pay attention too hard because yes, it is three different strands of fairy lights. So it kind of ombres off into like a little dark, like ugly yellow color. You know, we're just gonna avoid that like yellow part for this room I already have them and I just had three different strands and they just all happen to be three different colors so I just made do with it I wasn't gonna be picky or anything and like spend more money than I had to then I have this neon sign that I love it says good vibes only super cute works so well for this room so over here is my photo wall if you didn't know my favorite color is blue and I love traveling so it's a very like blue theme with hints of like pink and a little bit of like orange in there and I really like it I think the vibe is like very very me and it's a lot of traveling I really like it like these are really pretty like locations and I really don't think I'm gonna finish it going up from afar like not finishing the wall doesn't bother me just because the wall is so high I feel like so I'm fine with it. Let me know if it bothers you. To me, it doesn't really bother me. And then over here is my Polaroid wall. And then I just have a little A there that my girl big had made for me. So my room came with like the bed, the mattress, the table, and the chair over there. My room did not come with like this chair or like this table. And yeah, I just have like a coaster here for like my drinks. I have my laptop set up, some pens and pencils. And I have my schoolwork here. And then over here, I just have a little picture that uh, my friend Tina had gave me freshman year. Yes, I still have it, Tina, if you're watching this. And that completes my room tour. Hopefully you guys liked my room and enjoyed how I decorated it and how I showed you guys my room. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.